You know, Sam asked for a gun to protect you. Karen and David, they might have lived, and now they're dead. You should stop. Stop what? You need a leader. Let Herschel and Daryl handle things. You should be dead. You got your friend killed. Back to it. I shot Daryl. Don't be too hard on yourself. We've all wanted to shoot Daryl. Sorry, brother. No! Why'd you save me? Why'd you save me? Why? Because my son was there. Walkers, people, I kill them. I clear. We both started out in the same place. Things went bad for you, things went bad for me. But you're not seeing things right. I will kill you. I don't blame you what you've lost, what you've been through. You're not seeing things right, but you can come back from this. I know you can. You have to. When that little girl came out of the barn, the look on your face, I knew you knew it too. There's no hope. This can't be it. You gotta be able to come back from this. We've been out, we've been combing these woods looking for her, and she was in there all alone. Don't touch him! Haven't you done enough? I'm sorry. Looks like it's busted pretty bad. So this is where you plan to do it. It's a good place to end it. You just have the balls to call yeah, this I get it. Is. I get it. <laughs> Shit happens. Roger, what you call young high school stud bangs 30-year-olds on the regular? Hmm? What 30-year-old were you banging in high school? PE teacher? Mr. Daniel. <laughs> Mrs. Kelly? The girl's volleyball coach? <laughs> Wasn't she married? No, oh, come on. You know what I just remembered? Well, I never asked you about this stuff. Well, we talk about your high school love life then, huh? Company? Where's Pete? He's dead. You don't kill me too now? Huh? For the old guy at the camp? I apologize in advance for the picture quality. Uh, we just found an old camera Nobody store last year. away, Jesse. If, if, if you don't fight, you die. You're not doing this. Hey, I'm not letting you do this. No! Oh, no. And then there's you. I wouldn't have killed all your people. No. Oh, that was the work of someone not following the program. But this... This is my mistake. I'm not the good guy anymore. To save Carl's life, I would have done anything, anything. Now, Lori says you're dangerous, but you're not gonna be dangerous. Not to us, not to me, not anymore. You and Lori, when I figured it out, and I figured it out pretty quickly, I wanted to break your jaw. Don't you want one more day with a chance? <laughs> you like that? Yeah. I never know what time it is anymore. Ever since I gave Glenn my watch, it's always right now to me. It's early. <laughs>